<laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back, brother. How awesome. you doing, man? Great job. Um, episode nine. Nine. Episode nine. Jujitsu dummies. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Appreciate you coming back out. For sure, man. yeah, for sure. Thank um, you let's tell me. everybody what the heck we're doing here. Uh, it's just the two of us. Uh, we didn't lose anybody. Uh, we're doing these uh, mini episodes. Uh, this is a way for us to answer some of the questions. Get to the meat and potatoes that, of what we're doing. Here. Yeah, you know, we get so many questions. We're not covering everything that people are sending. It's uh, it's uh, a little bit. Um, uh, it bothers me that I can't get to all the questions and I'm not answering them on- online. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So let's um, do it. Yeah. yeah. Let's do a short so episode we're doing some short episodes. Questions. We did episode eight. We were about a half hour. So uh, we're going to do that again today. We're going to hit some questions, uh, some common subjects that have been coming up, uh, things that people tag us in. You know what have you. Uh, as always, we want to shout out ChokeResponsibly.com. Uh, they've uh, the, you know helped us get here. Uh, giving us T-shirts to give out. This is one of them right here. This one of my it. favorites, personal favorites. Neon, Neon Belly. Belly. Neon yeah. Belly. Dummies 9 gets you 10% off yes. at the store. Yes, at uh, jokeresponsibly.com. You can go directly and click on podcast. Or you can go to jujitsudummies.com and click on the store tab, and it'll take you to the store on Choke Responsibly. Perfect. Okay, yep. makes sense, right? Uh, I have made the mistake. Sorry to Ryan over at Cruise Combat. I've been talking about the patches. I forgot to shout them out, uh, but I knew that I was saving the T-shirt to wear on this episode, uh, but I should have been shouting them out the whole time. You want to grab it? So so they do our patches. I uh, just ordered 20 more. These are going to go out to staff, anybody that trains that's involved with the show, and um, I'm going to be giving them out to the the podcast patrons. There you go. So CJ Carroll, Truck Red Door. And James Fisher, three of our podcast uh, patrons, are going to be getting these. Awesome. Uh, and I'm thinking about what other goodies I'm going to send them as well. Um, maybe uh, they, they might see a rash guard in their future. Okay. Hey. All right. So um, if you want to be a podcast patron. Pays to be a patron. Pays to be a patron. You know, you're giving us a few dollars. We're going to make sure that we take care of you as well. Awesome. Uh, we just started it, uh, the, 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 the actual podcast patron system, just a few months ago. So, uh, you know, they, uh, you get charged as little as $5 a month. To be a patron, get a shout out, whether it's uh, uh, you, your academy, um, or Mission Twenty Two, Mission Twenty Two dot com, which that's, that's right. actually CJ is getting a, t- a two for one, man, and I'm more than happy to do it. For sure, He's they're good. Active good on our organization, Twitter, always yeah. reposting. But CJ Carroll asks us to, to shout out Mission Twenty Two, uh, who are uh, you know how much you know about them yourself? They you know? are a organization that takes care of veterans. It's more uh, awareness, right? Awareness for, for veteran suicide, veteran specifically, suicide, right? They're helping exactly. people with veteran suicide. Yeah. Twenty two so, veterans potentially take their lives every day. So wow. that's what Mission 22 is. Get out, get out there and uh, educate folks, but also help them get into different things like jiu-jitsu, right? Okay. Jiu-jitsu is going to help. All right, yeah, that, well, absolutely, man. It can help with a lot of stuff. And uh, so thank you to the podcast patrons. They're going to be seeing some uh, some patches. I just ordered some more. Again, Cruise Combat. Ryan's my man over there. Uh, he, I, you know, he, I say, hey, told me a shirt. I wear it on the show. <laughs> and uh, not that I forgot to wear it on the previous episodes. We had other sponsors we were working with. But uh, I definitely have been forgetting as I'm talking about the, the patches to, to mention Cruise Combat. So they're awesome. Check them out online. Uh, it's cruisecmbt.com uh, and, uh, and at cruisecmbt, Cruise Combat on Instagram. Uh, they're incredible guys. They, they train. Uh, they're, you know, they're from this world. Uh, so supporting them is, is supporting, adding you know, to the community. Yeah, yeah, adding to the community, to jiu-jitsu, to MMA as a whole. So uh, we've probably seen their patches on uh, on some of your favorite competitors. Um, I, if I, I hope I get his name right. Uh, Mike, Mike Kalimbas. Or uh, Kalimbas. Uh, excuse me, I, I don't know him, but uh, he does a lot of photography at the at the jujitsu tournament. Mm-hmm. You'll always see his name. He's out there, so uh, they do his patches. You'll see him on the on the website if you go to order. So uh, super inexpensive. One of the one of these patches costs six bucks. Wow, that's really that's good. not bad. And no, you can really order good. one. That's the thing. You don't have to to order in bulk. Mm-hmm. So. Again, big shout out to Ryan. Thank you guys. I'm going to keep on ordering. If you want to send some shirts for the crew, we'll uh, we'll shout you out online. We'll wear them sure. on the show. Uh, we'll give you lots of love uh, over a whole bunch of episodes. So uh, so thank you, Ryan. So again, so what we're doing here is oh, let's, oh, let's wait, not forget wait. about your boy. Fight back, yeah. Fight you, back how's your CBD? shoulder doing? Man, my shoulder's doing a lot yeah. better. Yeah. I started taking some uh, fight back CBD on a regular basis over the last week, and it really has improved the amount of pain that I've been dealing with so if, if your pain was at a 10 when you started where do you feel like you're at Man, now 
it definitely has dropped down about three to four. Yeah. Three to four points from there. Okay. So I would say it was probably like at seven. Um, very uncomfortable seven. Okay. And now I'm probably at a good three that I could sleep. Okay. Sleep better at night. And, and, and it's what Justin said when we had him on episode seven. Mm -hmm. uh, it was our first Skype interview. Uh, so, uh, he, you know, he said, he goes, you know, it brings his pain, his, his, his pain down. He goes, if I can get from a 10 to a six, I think is what he said. Uh, you know, that's a win, right? And, course, and it is, course, you know, if yeah. you're, if you can get that pain down, um, I keep on saying this, uh, I've got my cardiologist appointment coming pretty soon. I can't wait to get back on Check it. That ticker, man. Uh, yeah, so man. I, I, you know, I've just, uh, got to be careful with my meds. So I got to get a sign off on anything I put into my body. So, uh, hopefully they're going to tell me thumbs up, go ahead, you know, get back on the CBD and, and, and I'll be good. And he, Justin uh, has a quote for yeah. us, right? JJD. Uh, JJD. Gets his 15% off. 15 percent off at fightbackcbd.com follow him at fightbackcbd on facebook and instagram already inexpensive so, already inexpensive as it is right yeah so. i mean his prices are super competitive mm -hmm. um you know look I've, I've purchased CBD from other places before and he's beat everyone that, mm -hmm. uh, that I've ever purchased from. I have been lucky uh, in my day job. I'm in the, in the marketing business and I actually had a, a client that sent me some CBD. That was my start. Uh, and then I, you know, I migrated over to, to fight back uh, when we started the relationship with Justin and it was great until I had to stop. My primary physician told me, maybe you want to hold off. This might be counteracting the meds or your meds and your, the CBD are trying to do two different things. Mm -hmm. You need to open your arteries and the CBD might be constricting them. So let's, let's get an opinion from your cardiologist. Sure. So yeah. I hope to be back soon. I got plenty of little aches and pains that I know that it's helping with before. Yeah. And we'll listen yeah. to Go ahead and listen to that episode, right? Episode yeah, yeah. seven episode with Justin seven. from Fight Back CBD. A from, lot of great info. From the horse's mm -hmm. mouth. Yeah. One of the things, I want to call it a side effect. One of the things that it helped me with, which completely unexpected day one, acid reflux. You know, that mm -hmm. burn, that heartburn, you know, I've been taking, I was able to stop taking ranitidine, which is the, the I take them twice a day for years and I was able to stop immediately. I know it, I have Tums in my, in my car, in my briefcase, on my desk at work and my nightstand. We should get them as a sponsor. And I had to stop, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I had to stop. That was able to stop. So, uh, so CBD, you know, I don't, I'm not going to call it the cure-all like everybody out there is always mm -hmm. calling the cure-all. It's helped me. It's helping it's helped you, me. Yep. Raul's uh, father-in-law. Um, we've got people that we know that are using it that, sure. that it's helping with. So, so again, uh, big shout out to Justin. Uh, thank you for all you do for the show. So, what are we going to get? What else are we giving away today? So, um, we've got the coupon code that you could always use. It's always going to be dummies and the podcast episode number, episode number. This is to get ten percent off. We've yeah. always matched it up with the podcast. Mm -hmm. That's just for tracking, just right. So, but dummies, the number nine, nine for this episode. Uh, for this episode. So we're not giving away T-shirts or CBD for questions. But we're we, doing a contest. Yeah, we're going to do a contest. And the reason why we're not giving it, like, if you sent us a question and you hear us answering it, understand that we probably got this question. Several or, times. And we're asked to talk about this subject a whole, by a whole mm. bunch of people. And unfortunately, we can't give away CBD to everybody. Justin can only go so far. And again, choke responsibly, same thing. We can only send out so much. And don't hit him up for so, free CBD, yeah. right? Yeah, go over some It's miles, a man. good cause. So listen yeah. again to episode number seven. Yeah. He explains what the whole process is yeah. behind him doing this at an affordable cost, right? So, yeah. So what we're going to do, though, is we're going to give away a bottle of CBD and a $50 coupon. Uh, we send you a coupon five code. Zero. To choke, yeah, five zero to chokeresponsibly.com. Or again, you go through jujitsudummies.com to the to the uh, the podcast store, and we will. Uh, what, what you have to do to enter to win is easy. really easy, right? Really yeah, easy. You're going to go to our YouTube page. You're going to go to this episode, episode number nine. Nine. You're going to uh, like, like, subscribe, the video, subscribe, and also post a comment and or a question. Right. Yeah, and you're going to be entered to win. Uh, that the the CBD and the fifty dollar coupon code. So Junior's good looking is not enough, right? No, no. That's not that. Yeah, that, that will be more substantial. Yeah, that'll no, negate we, you. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take you out of the hat <laughs> if you do that. So we're going to uh, we're going to do that after the, the episode airs. 
you know, we got to let it run, let mm-hmm. people enter, uh, and then we'll pick and we'll announce on social media and contact that person. So number of views, or does it really matter? Um, yeah, I, I didn't really think about yeah. it, didn't put that much thought into it, but usually I do the giveaways about a week to two weeks after the episode airs, because yeah. I want to make sure everybody's listening, yeah, sure. including that person that won. I want them to hear it. Yeah, I, I actually like when, they, when somebody says, hey, thanks you for using my question on the show. Thousand when do I get my... Hard, right? <laughs> Thousand views should be that hard. Yeah, well, I, I think we. I think we'll just keep weeks, it a, a week or two. I think a week or two okay. is good. And um, and look, we're more than happy to give stuff away. Sure. Just in this particular situation, we're going to go into some questions or some commonly uh, posed subjects so that we can, you know, kind of get these questions out of the way. Um, you know, start a new bank test bank. Yeah, question, you know, right? we, we we get questions every day. Yeah. Or we get tagged in other questions that people pose online. Uh, I've thrown him out there a, a whole bunch of times. Uh, Jujitsu. Uh, I'm in that. I'm into the Jujitsu group. Uh, he also has his own podcast. Check him out; it's mm-hmm. awesome. Uh, but uh, but Chewy uh, has a, a great podcast group. But we get tagged here and there, and or people, you know, you know, pose that same subject to us in our group, or might send me a message. Hey, what do you think about this? So anyway, right, so, let, so let, let's got? let's dive in. So uh, enough explaining. So uh, a big subject that keeps on coming up is comparing yourself to your training partners. Kind of goes hand in hand with like, why are you training? Are you training to go kick the 50-year-old accountant's butt in the gym or the 25-year-old, you know, waiter, you know, who maybe none of you are looking to go to ADDC or ADCC or uh, to fight in the UFC, Mm -hmm. you know, like it kind of goes hand in hand, I think, maybe with why are you training? You know, like, what's your end game here? Do you want to, you know, again, tournament train? Do you want to compete professionally? You know, what what are your what are your thoughts on on people who, you know, kind of, kind of walk through that door and they're comparing themselves to everybody? Yeah, yeah, you can't compare yourself to anybody. Yeah, and that's that's the consensus, right? Not in this, not in the jujitsu world. I mean, there's other places you might want to compare yourself to a coworker. Hey, I want to be better than that coworker. I want that promotion, but it doesn't work like that Mm -hmm. in the jujitsu gym. Right? You know, no, I think it's just. Is that, is that a, a, does that comparison a fair make analogy. sense? Yeah, that's yeah. a fair analogy. But I think jujitsu at the same time can be that way. Are you comparing mm-hmm. yourself? Um, you're only trying to comp- compete against yourself from what you did yesterday. Yeah. Right? You want to mm-hmm. be better than yesterday. And that should be the reason why you go to jujitsu. Okay. Yeah, you have training partners that you see on a regular basis. And yeah, do you want to be better than them or, you know, um, potentially be better than the next belt level sure but that mm-hmm. comes with time and you can't compare yourself because again you don't know you only know what you're doing yeah. what are you doing to be better are you yeah. doing are you getting up early are you running are you doing extra cardio so there's there shouldn't be a comparison yeah right? so like uh so well my opinion is i mean of the sim, uh, similar uh, opinion there so you really have to stop and like when you grab that when you open the door to the gym I agree right I want to come out of there learning one more, one little thing. I, I always say, oh, sorry. Um, sorry to the guy with the headphones on behind the, the camera. <laughs> um, am I going to get better today? Am I any better today than I was yesterday at, at my day job? I always tell people, pennies make dollars. A little bit, one penny. If I put one mm-hmm. penny into investing into my sure. job, my jujitsu, whatever it is, Tomorrow I have two pennies. You sure, know, I'm gonna sure. put it out there. No, I have two pennies and three pennies, yeah. right? Pennies make dollars. I actually got that. I used to work in a pizzeria when I was young, and uh, the the owner would sweep at night, and he'd be picking up pennies and dimes that he'd find, and he'd go pennies make dollars, and he put it in. But it meant so much more, and he explained it to me over time what that really meant. Uh, but it's he like always a Mr. said Miyagi it. thing right there. But listen, I still the, uh, I can I, like go, I can I'm go into my that. relationship with that guy. He was an incredible mentor, and I still. Uh, work and do things because of things that he taught me. Uh, you know, it's like, like customer service. And again, look, I live my life like that. I, I'm going to try to make myself a little bit better today. I don't tr- look at a task and go, oh my God, I have to complete that task today. I don't have to learn an entire leg lock system mm-hmm. or a leg lock move today. But it's discipline of I'm going to get a little piece yeah. today and then I'm going to go home and I'm going to watch, I'm going to find the video and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to ask my coach a question. I might even show him that video. Hey, look, can I do it like this? My things that I do, the way I do it, it's not going to be the way that you're exactly. going to be able to do it. Exactly. I learned early on. I had a, a 400 pound training partner in my first gym. We always figured out modifications for both of us. The coach would teach him something that mm-hmm. would work, and then oh wait, no, okay, you have to be here for that. Um, um, but look, pennies make dollars. You go to train. We don't go train once. Learn to. This isn't the Matrix. We don't have somebody uploading jujitsu in, into into your, into your brain. 
we are that would be going nice. there, right that would uh, be, nice. be great <laughs> <laughs> somebody work that out let me know if you figured that out yet so but right it doesn't that's what it is it, it's like you know i don't want to be corny but it's the journey sure and you have course, yeah. when i grab that door i just want to be a little bit better when i open that door and i see some of the faces that are there i know who the competitive guys are i don't want to lose to those guys and you know i we all we all know of course um listen i'm one of the bigger guys in the gym i know everybody doesn't love to see me coming I don't ask anybody to roll anymore. I absolutely leave it for everybody else. Um, for the most part, I'm the larger man in the room. Uh, and on most days, you know, if you're not around, if Andres isn't around, um, I'm probably the highest or one of the higher belts. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a one-stripe purple belt um, five years in. But, you know, we have a, it's, we're, we have, there's a sea of blue belts, right, at, at our gym. I always actually say there's a sea of white and blue right now. Um, and that's not to say we don't have other belts. It's just, you know, working out, you know, four or five days a week, you don't run into each other all the exactly. time. On the days that I go, I'm usually the a higher belt. So I've gone to being, I, I'm learning how to be humble. I'm, I'm you know, not 100% there, but again, pennies make dollars a little bit every day. I'm at a point now, I went to train this morning at Open Mat. I don't ask anybody to, to, to roll unless somebody looks at me and says, you know, like, I'm a higher belt. I should be able to ask anybody to roll. But because of my size... Yeah, I, I, it's it makes intimidating a little bit to some people, sure. yeah. and they might have an injury, and they're worried. Yeah. Like you're not and calling I'm that always, person. I don't know what I was listening I'm to. I'm not like, hey, you know, you come off the wall. Yeah, yeah, you come yeah. roll with me. Um, <laughs> but you know, like you know, every once in a while, you know, there'd be uh, be somebody who's avoiding me, um, and I'll be like, you know, I'll call them out on it. You know, Mauricio, me and Mauricio got a thing going right now. <laughs> <laughs> love hate relationship. Mar Mauricio, you know, if uh, it, Mauricio, love you, Mauricio. I love you. I really do. You're my brother. Can't wait to have you back on the show. Uh, he's got a lot of school and, and work. Busy, so busy he's, he's been busy. So these getting to the podcast has been hard. But he figured out a way to not have to roll hard with me. He would roll the first roll on a Saturday morning, which warm -up. most of the, the time is the flow roll yes, or yes, a warm yes. up. And he gets it knocked out. But he, he got me for a good couple of months without, and you know what, how I figured it out? Tell that man told me. <laughs> Guess what I've been doing. Yeah, he told me. He told I'm me. I'm going to tell you my he secret said, right now. Yeah, he said, he came out and just straight out said it. He's like, yeah, man, I'm, I get that floor. I get you in. I do the floor roll. And I was like, oh, now I won't. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a little bit, but I did catch him yeah. on one. I was like, no, I'm not rolling with you. It doesn't matter one. what number I'm roll never, it yeah. is, right? First roll. We're going yeah. balls to the wall. Yeah, well, you know, usually he says, oh, no, no, slow down. We're going to flow today. <laughs> We're going to flow the first one. Nice flow. job. I, I got to stretch. I try to use Love that. Love him, but, I, but he did do that. So, uh, but you know, back to, back to the question, you know, when I open that door, I know the faces I'm going to see. I know who's in there. I know who I have to be competitive with, who I shouldn't be competitive with, who I've got to learn. I've got to go out of my way to like, don't get sucked into mm -hmm. that competitive battle. Don't get sucked into a place where it's, it's egos. Um, and there's not a lot of that anymore, but it, it's happened to me in the past. It's happened in my current gym the you know, at fight sports, but it's kind of gone. And I think it's just kind of something that you kind of weed out. Yeah, good, good people yeah. stay. People that are there for the right reasons stay. And, um, and you know, we're in a good place. But um, you know, bottom line is, it is you against yourself. That's it. You At shouldn't compare yourself to anybody. And um, you know, in the end, you know, you're gonna uh, you, you're gonna have a better uh, training uh, experience, and your jujitsu is actually gonna get better. You don't have to fight hard and kill somebody every time. You're you're in the gym yeah. to get better. It's actually when do you when do you learn the most? When do I learn a hard the most? roll or a flow roll? Uh, probably a flow roll right? with, and it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah. Lower belt or higher belt. Yeah, right? there's always something for you to learn. Yeah, because right? you never know. Yeah. So, well, um, let, let's uh, let's move on to the next question. Again, I see this a lot, and. Most of the time, like I love to, when somebody asks me a question, I love to figure out what the, I'll either visit their page or hopefully they'll tell me what, um, what, uh, what belt they are, their experience, right? Um, but I see this question and then we've gotten this question. What should I be doing when I'm hurt? Can't train. What should I do? White belt. What should I do? Man, that's a well, tough question, yeah. man. Why? Because it's easy for you first not to go to the gym and to, mm -hmm. to do any type of training. And it's easy, especially being a little bit older, for those mm -hmm. pounds to quickly accumulate, right? So, man, I haven't trained probably in a month, and I know that I've put on a couple pounds. Yeah. 
So yeah. what can you do, right? Hey, yeah. it's discipline. Discipline yeah. goes a long way. So, hey, you still got to maintain your eating habits, right? You still, you can't go keto and eat a pizza. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you I've have never done keto yet. <laughs> haven't, haven't, haven't oh, man, done that's that hard. yet. But yeah. That's hard. We'll talk yeah. about that in another episode. Yeah. But you have to maintain, find, find what's hurting you and find ways to fix it so yeah. that you can get back on the mat, right? Okay. So for me, Fight Back CBD has made a world of difference in potentially getting me yeah, on the you need the to mat. hold up a bottle while you're talking about it. Get it. <laughs> Fight Back CBD. <laughs> no, Fight that. Back CBD. I'll just Try it. it. It'll but, work. But go ahead. Oh, go ahead, man. So, um, yeah, you still... So you're You're hurt. saying Fight Back helped you. It right? helped me, yeah. right? And again, I'm only speaking for me. But what can you do? You know, there's a lot of things you can do. You can do cardio, right? You can mm-hmm. do some strength and conditioning. You can um, review, review I'm, tape, read I'm books. I'm hurt right now. I'm yeah. hurt right now. And uh, I've been doing... Uh, Two to three times a week, two mile two mile runs in the mm-hmm. evening, uh, either in the gym or out here in the in the out in front of the house. But here's something know, too around like the community. That, here's something else that you can do to keep you on the mat. Mm-hmm. Hey, tell this tell your training partners. Hey, I'm hurt. Yeah. Right? it could be it becomes an ego thing. Yeah, if you don't want to tell somebody that you're hurt, and hey, can you lay off this side? Or hey, I'm only going to work from this position. Or mm-hmm. hey, you know, whatever. I want to go fifty percent. I've never found that to be a problem. Okay. I think you were telling me uh, there was a white belt that had an injured shoulder. Yeah. Still wants to train, right? Still has that energy to get in the mat. What did he do? Put his hand in his Put belt. Put his hand Look in his that, belt. Man. And I did the same and we rolled. There I was like, go. interesting. Right? Been a long time since I've done so, that and, and I put it in. Yeah. You, you know, know where you, know where you don't want to be that's going to get you hurt. So, again, we're, you're hurt. You're hurt and, and not able to train still. You Correct. have a urine train. You're, itch, you're itching not, to get you know, out there. Man, but, I might be there tomorrow yeah. morning. Okay. So I have gone. I've just really, uh, again, I thought I had a hernia, mm-hmm. that whole nine. Uh, back issues. So found out from my, uh, actually found out, I probably have a torn ab muscle. My reaction was, oh, I have ab muscles? So <laughs> that was number one. Uh, so, but, <laughs> so, so my Cairo, basically, when they really started getting into, like, you know, kind of fixing me up for my back pain, He's like, I think, he's like, what you're telling me in the pain and where it's coming out. Mm-hmm. He says, I think that you must have torn an ab. And I'm like, yeah, this, I told my primary physician that this, this pain hasn't gone away since a very specific ab workout and that side to side shrimping, people call it, right? Everybody has a yeah, different name yeah. for it. Side to side shrimping with a, a, a buttload of ab uh, or oh, crunches that in that, that training, uh, that, in that training session that day. And I, and I just felt like, you know, pain, like, you know, sore mm-hmm. muscles and it never went away. And then it got worse, and when I would sneeze, I'd feel the pain. So it never went away from there. But then I always have back pain. Stop going to the Cairo, not getting my regular adjustments and massages. Mm-hmm. And my back started hurting too. So that my primary care physician put it together as one thing. Uh, my Cairo says, I think they're two separate things. I don't, I don't see the pain that you're saying radiating the way that it's radiating to the front. So although it can happen. So long story short, I feel like I, there's two different issues. Back is feeling better already. Front is still the same. So I still have to go to the gym and pretty much I pull guard when I'm going to roll. You go. Take it and, I, and, it's, and it's defense, it's defense, it's defense. Mm-hmm. But what I did was, before I even found out, before I got the x-ray that, that you know, led to the diagnosis, I started running. Two miles. You know, it's hard to get to, but you know, for me, it's like I'm, a, I'm a big dude. Running is not my... I enjoy, I've always enjoyed running, mm-hmm. uh, but I'm a big dude. So I got up, got up to two miles, you know, try to, you know, working on my time to do those two miles in shorter amount of times. Um, but uh, I was able to actually go weightlifting. I, I kept it just kind of, you know, above the waist, no sit-ups, no legs, because I didn't want to like, you know, mm-hmm. so even yeah, I didn't want to injure it anymore. But uh, I found something, you know, the bottom line where I'm getting, that I took the long road to say, I found other things that I could do. Exactly. And, and you know, I went to the Cairo yesterday and he said, continue to do that. If, as soon as you, if you feel the pain, stop. But if you can do it, go exercise. Yeah, you know, build up your muscles. Get you know, stay mm-hmm. in shape. So, uh, um, again, f- weights started running. But me, I'm you know, always looking for videos. Always looking for yeah. There's cool. a lot of not just like on can, Instagram mm-hmm. and the video. Like I go search out videos of things that I feel or places where I feel the weakest. 
I've been working on, you know, Coach, his signature move is the lockdown, right? At least for him, right? He, they, mm-hmm. you, you roll with Coach, you're getting in that mm-hmm. lockdown at some point. So lockdown to the electric chair to the – Coach calls Working? it the pee-pee splitter. <laughs> uh, uh, I call it the banana split. The old, mm-hmm. I think wrestlers call it the mm-hmm. banana split. Uh, but, you know, working that lockdown to different moves has been good for me. But I come home and I find – I, I'm looking for one little pe- puzzle piece to add in. I can exactly. even stop. I'll watch a whole video, figure out which... Pe- okay, I'm going to do that next time. Oh, I wasn't doing that. I wasn't pushing the arm out. I wasn't creating distance and pulling that arm in. So just doing that and I figure... I've always been like that, like find a move and work that move. I find something I like. Wow, that's working it's, for me. works for my body type. Exactly. And exactly. then I just find it everywhere. Mm-hmm. I did it with the North-South. And and now I'm doing it with uh with the uh, um, with the lockdown. So, you know, the initial question was, what do I do when I'm hurt? Train what you can. Train when you can, even if it means you can just go for a walk. Yeah, train that mental you, muscle, right? Right. Train the brain, right? Train or get a book. Mm-hmm. Jiu Jitsu University. Link in the bio. Link in the in the description. Um, I'm always talking about it, and I will continue to talk about it until everybody in Jiu Jitsu owns that book. Because it is one of the best things. that Some of the most basic moves from that book I do and save my ass every time I roll. Um, but you know, the bottom line, what are we saying? Supplement your training. Figure out another something else to do. But I, I like the videos. I like watching YouTube because it keeps my head in the game. And the coach, you know, your coach, your professor, talk to him. Hey, coach, professor, I'm hurt. Yeah. You know, this I might not be able to do. All the warm ups. I have a lot of respect for guys that show up that yeah. are that are hurt and they come to, they'll come and show up to their regular their regularly scheduled classes and just sit and watch. Jason Jason's done that in the past. Yeah. You know, he trains with his wife there, but you know, he's not coming because she's there. He's coming because he doesn't you know, he doesn't want to lose month, it. Yeah, uh, he'll get on the mat when he can, but I mean I've seen him just hang out on the side. Yeah. And he he's always he's done that. So uh so yeah, you know, supplement your training, get into the gym, stay in the mindset. Don't just walk away from it. Well, I'll be back when I can be back. Exactly. And I have not always been. I'm going back tomorrow. I, I have not always taken that advice. I have not. I'm, I'm giving the advice. I haven't always done it. I have not always shown up when I'm hurt, or you know, uh, I'm going to take a couple of weeks off and then not to, and, and not exercise at all. Yeah. But uh, but uh, at the 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 longer I uh, I train, the more discipline I get with those little things. And again. We talked about last episode. The pennies make dollars. Exactly. Um, yeah. Like the, it's the little things. A little it's the little thing. It's that overall jujitsu journey as well. Accumulate. These little pennies have made mm-hmm. dollars in my training life. You know, even the things off the mat. Like, hey, I didn't do that last time I was hurt. I'm doing it this time. So, awesome. um, yeah. you know, I can get into food and supplements and things like that. I don't take supplements, but food to supplement. Uh, you know, things like you know, drinking uh, ginger drinks and things like that. So, won't go that far into it, but I've done those things to again help keep me, uh, keep me on the mat. So, I had all right. So, we're gonna change it up a little bit. Okay. Um. I stole this idea. Lightning I round. St- lightning round. But I stole this idea <laughs> from The Walking Dead. Okay. I was late to the show. I was late to the to the game on Walking Dead. But uh, me and my girl, me and my fiance, we watch it religiously. Uh, we're just finishing out episode nine. Uh, t- ten is like airing this week. Uh, or season 10 is, is airing this week. Uh, we're on uh, season nine. So one of the things they do in the show is uh, when they run into people. I, I explained this yep, to you for the benefit of uh, for anybody else. listening. Uh, and, and I hope I don't, I, don't, I don't mess this up. But basically, when they run into somebody that, uh, that might, they might bring into the community, they ask them three questions. And when we first started this, like before episode one, when I was like t- thinking of how to do this mm-hmm. and, and what we should be talking about, I, I wrote it down as, ask three questions like in The Walking Dead. Uh, so these are the three that I want to start asking you guys, my okay. co-hosts, uh, Janet and Raul when they're back, Mauricio if he ever if he ever comes back uh, at Come all. Come on, Mauricio. So, Mauricio, where, where are you at, bro? Uh, we've got milk carton uh, <laughs> missing uh, uh, Miss- memes uh, <laughs> to you know loading now. So um, uh, I especially want to ask this of guests again, again a little lightning round. Okay, but uh, we'll, we'll let's just jump in. So obviously, as it pertains to jujitsu, what's your biggest regret? My biggest regret, probably not starting earlier. Okay, that's probably the biggest regret. Okay. 
Same for me. Yeah. Um, I didn't start till I was 41. When did you start? I started when I was uh, 30, 34, 35. Do you, you don't include any time in the military, even though no. it's not... You wasn't straight jujitsu, but you did do some. I did some, yeah, Marine Corps okay. martial martial arts, but okay. it wasn't straight jujitsu. Okay, yeah, I mean, I was, I uh, I played the. Uh, I'm, let me get into a little bit of better shape and lose some weight yeah, first, and yeah. then I'll start training. That's understandable. Uh, I, since I was about 19, I've always like hit a punching bag, had a punching mm-hmm. bag in the house, in the yard, uh, in my living room on a stand, mm-hmm. like you know, one of those big old Everlast stands. Uh, but uh, but end of work train yeah. harder you know maybe yeah. if I could have trained twice a day or trained yeah. every day or yeah. you know not taking that time for off for me it's and, just the I took I, I said I was going to do it a lot sooner than I did but mm-hmm. then actually met a family friend uh, uh, a friend of my my fiance's family who was opening a gym and the mm-hmm. rest is history started right before my forty first birthday uh, like a week or two before my forty first so that's my biggest regret as well um, all right so question number two if you can go back in time. What would you tell the white belt you? Um, train harder. I was going to say, you train just answered harder. it. You answered yeah. it before I asked Yeah, it. train harder, train man. Train harder. Yeah, yeah I think, um, you know, one of the things that I found, and I, I'm sure everybody hates, is doing hip escapes. Okay. Shrimping. Right? Okay. Up and down the mats. At yeah, least yeah, yeah. two or three times, um, you know, whatever that is, 20 meters. But um, I hated it. Yeah. I hated it. But now I found that it's such a big part of my game because hip escapes are not a big deal anymore. Yeah. They remove me from that obstacle that's there, allows me to bring my hips back, replace really quick. Yeah. So, you know, don't take the simple things for granted. Maybe. Okay. Don't take this, you know, those techniques, those warm ups are there for a reason. Yeah. Do your warm ups. And I, and okay. I've still to this day, you know, I do warm ups and I find I've seen individuals with, you know, higher belts that don't think that they're part of the class that they don't have to do warm ups, right? So hey, if that you're bother if, you, the, like the, the higher belts, you know what? No, there's not so many things that bother me. <laughs> I'm there for me. Okay. So it goes yeah. back to what we yeah. talked about. It's not about anybody else. I don't really yeah. care if you. Here's what I do care about. I do care about that it's a tough warm up, right? We go through the technique. You haven't done any warm ups, and then we go to spar, and you want to go 100. Yeah. percent Yeah, that bothers me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna, you know, I might put a little bit extra shoulder <laughs> pressure on you just to wear you down a little bit more. You might put a little more hot sauce on that move. <laughs> I might a little bit more. You know, my Antonio Banderas when I do, it, <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna come with some heat. Yeah. You know. All right. All right. Um, if if I could go back and talk to myself. When I was a white belt, the second I, st- I stepped on the mat, I probably would say take better care of myself and my body mm-hmm. off the mat. Right? Oh, yeah. obviously this is pre, mm-hmm. this pre-heart attack, right? So um, I started before I had a heart attack two years ago, June, this last June is, is two years since I had the heart attack. Uh, Bernie Sanders just had what I had. Uh, you know, he had two stints. We don't need to get into politics. I see that they had your eyes rolling already. Anyway, Bernie Sanders just had two stints put in. Uh, and it's either discomfort or a heart attack. He had a heart attack. Uh, so, uh, so I would go back and tell myself to take better care of myself, but not just for the heart attack. Cause that's probably damage I did to my body for, mm-hmm. for, well before I started jujitsu, sure. but, uh, more massages. Uh, I would have been doing yo- yoga. <laughs> so I, I don't know where, yeah, I don't know where no, you're going. No, I don't know where that smile's going. That one. We might get a uh, uh, flag for that. More comment. massages at, from the massage there therapist. You go. All right, Junior. There you go. Um, I would have definitely, I've, I've learned a lot of like yoga stretching, but to this day, I would really love to be able to get to yoga two, three times a week, but I can barely get to, tra- you know, training is hard enough to get to training. Uh, I, you know, uh, until I retire, which isn't happening anytime soon. Um, I, I wish I could, I have done, would have done and still wish that I could do more yoga. I'm, I'm going to add one the, thing. Stretching. I'm going to add one thing that I think even now can still incorporate is cool downs. Okay. Right. Find yeah. some way after training for an hour to properly cool down and stretch yeah. out and do those things. Yeah. Because, like you said, you know, it's it's preparation for yeah future training events. I mean, that goes hand in hand with taking better care exactly. of myself. Exactly. Not you know you know our our Godfather Joe Rogan. God bless you. Uh, <laughs> Joe Rogan. <Yeah>. Godfather <laughs> podcast. So you know he talks about it like stretching, taking 10, mm-hmm. 15 minutes. You know who does? Andres has been doing it and. I'm always running out the door, but I, I'm going to make a commitment to, to kind of stick around a little bit uh, longer after training yeah, and, and do yeah. them with him. But um, I do come home. I use my massager mm-hmm. or I'll stretch her in the living room a little bit. Um, but 
uh, definitely that that's probably the one thing that I would have told myself is you got to take care of your body. Yeah. Because you know this is uh, it's going to be worth every minute. Mm-hmm. The jujitsu is worth every minute. The longevity and taking care of yourself is going to yeah. is going to help you do this into your fifties and sixties and uh, you know hopefully beyond. Man, I wouldn't mind if I died on the mat. All right, yeah. lightning round. Yeah. Let's go, man. We got. Oh yeah, not what such a lightning round. Um, <laughs> what is your ultimate goal? Other than achieving the rank of black belt, which you already have, mm-hmm. two years now, going on two years, goal coming up, yeah, two. So you, you've been a black belt for two years. Year now, okay. Yeah. So, what is your ultimate goal? Ultimate goal, in man. Jiu-jitsu? That's mm, probably to train till I die. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I think that when you ask most people this, if you ask, I would say a white belt or blue belt this question, most people are going to say to get my black belt, to mm-hmm. do this long enough to get my black belt. Um, I think once you hit purple and brown, I I don't care so much about the belt anymore. I might joke about it a little bit about yeah, stripes yeah. and you know joke coach messing with me. The belt is becoming less and less of anything to me. It is the experience. I know where my game is. I know where I want to get better. Say I know where my game is. My coach knows where my game is. I'm comfortable where I am right now, even with injury. Um, but. I think once you hit purple and brown, it's less about the belt. And I think it goes back to, I think you also realize the responsibility that comes with that belt. You mm-hmm. have people looking up to you. You know, are you going to be coaching? Are you going to take over classes? People are going to naturally gravitate, you know, gravitate yeah. towards you and ask you questions. It's a lot of responsibility. And I enjoy that responsibility even now. But I think because of that, I think the answer changes for most people. And we'll, we'll find out as we ask this question on episode. But for me... Um, I I think it's is doing this till I drop. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, <laughs> being I think able to fine. take care of my body to do this long enough mm-hmm. that I am truly doing this all of my life. I I've really closed my eyes and pictured myself. You know, when I'm you know seventy years old, God willing that I get there. When I'm seventy years old, am I gonna still be doing this? Am I gonna be going to the gym two, three, four, five times a week? You know, what, what am I gonna be doing? Uh, and I and I hope. You know, that's my goal yeah. is to really be doing this for the rest of my life. And if I am not on the mat, I would like to be doing something like this, still spreading the word. Sure. Still yeah. having knowledge that I can impart. We have uh, kind of just, we've become this, uh, or at least our audience and the people that are interacting with us, I can see that they're mostly white and blue. Mm-hmm. And it was, you know, the first uh, description I wrote of the show was like the the podcast you wished you had when you were a white belt. It's still out there on on some stuff. Uh, And there was, I wanted this to be geared towards, and we had this conversation when I spoke to you about it. We have these conversations that I wish that people that we trained with that were younger in the game could hear. And now here we are. These are some of the same conversations we had when we were having a beer, pizza and a beer, or getting Mm -hmm. some wings, me, you, Mauricio, Raul. These are the same conversations that we've had, and now we're just recording. And this is the them. forum, right? This is the forum yeah. to ask questions, right? Yeah. That's what we did this for. Because I think yeah. too, as a white belt, I had a lot of questions. Even as a blue and purple belt, I had but a lot of questions. There's a lot. Do you, I mean, I don't know if you're like most, or I feel like most are a little intimidated to maybe ask a professor because they think mm. it's a stupid question. Maybe it's fifty fifty. Like some people just don't ask a lot of questions. Or like, what should I do? Or they don't go to the higher belts. And I wanted this to be a place or a show to, hey, look, even though some of these things seem so obvious, of course you you should supplement your training and look at videos. Yeah. You need to hear it from somebody. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely like, right. Somebody needs to mm-hmm. verbalize it to you. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with, um, with doing those things, asking those questions, because no. it's just going to make you better. I'm hoping that if I'm not able to do jujitsu, that if there's a point in my life where I couldn't, that I'm doing this, um, that I am involved in the jujitsu world. And, you know, maybe it's training and coaching. Mm-hmm. And look at uh, John Danaher, you know, like uh, he's got bad knees and uh, I'm not sure how much he trains, but he's, you know, Still there. He's he's becoming like the, you know, the, the preeminent uh, leg lock guy mm-hmm. and, and look at his team and, yeah. and what they've done just at AD, uh, ADCC this year. So, uh, you know, being involved at whatever level, uh, what do they say? Like uh, those who can't do teach. Right, <laughs> I hope that if I can't do yeah, it, I think that, that's I'm, a, that's, that I'm teaching. That's a bad adage, I think. Yeah, but it, it, no, I, it's, I, it comes I've, from I've not a great it. place. Like somebody, it does, hey, yeah. you suck at baseball, but <laughs> exactly. you're a great batting coach. You know, like <laughs> you know, you never made it to the big leagues, yeah. but you did this. Um, I would hope that it would be because I'm retired. But if if I can't yeah. do it, I wanna, 
I'd want to coach or talk about it or I need to be in this mm-hmm. world. I've, I've never, uh, other than my family and my children and, you know, I, I've never felt better than, you know, coming off that matter. Yeah. You can just talk about jujitsu. Exactly. What we're doing here. Exactly. So, all right. Thank you, brother. Awesome. Uh, another thank you, great man, one. for having me. Appreciate uh, it. Thank you, Chris, behind the camera. Thank you to his Uber driver. Uh, what's your name again? Is Tatiana or Tiana? Tiana. Tiana. I'm sorry. I always get that wrong. Um, Thank you to everybody that tuned in. Uh, thank you to everybody that's listening on uh, the podcast or watching us on YouTube. Uh, thank you to our sponsors. Fight Back CBD. Yes. Thank you very much, Justin. Coupon Appreciate code. everything that you do. Coupon, Coupon code. code is JJD. For? Episode. No, for how many? How much percent? <laughs> you always forget, man. <laughs> man, for 15% off. 15%, 15% off. FightbackCBD.com. Yeah. Always um, gets me with that one, man. Coupon code is JJD at checkout. Uh Choke responsibly, ten percent off. Dummies nine, dummies nine. Dummies nine, fifteen percent off. And should it's worth noting that they do free shipping anywhere in the U.S. Whoa, so any whoa, U.S. address, whoa, whoa. Uh, Canada, Alaska. Uh, it's Canada, Alaska, uh, Alaska, and Hawaii, and the U.S. It's Did free you shipping. Did you just bump up that? No, 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 don't, don't do it. Don't do it. No, it's a ten percent discount. <laughs> I think you said fifteen. Uh, 10% so let's clarify discount. that because somebody's gonna come hunt I you said down. Free for shipping. Okay. It's free shipping okay. anywhere in free the U.S. Shipping. and in the U.S. states and territories, uh, and uh, so thank them. Uh, you could visit uh, chokeresponsibly.com and go to click on podcast, and there's our podcast store. Uh, if you go to jujitsudummies.com uh, and click on store, it'll take you to the store on Choke Responsibly. Uh, also, again, want to shout out Ryan and his crew from Cruise Combat for the awesome patches. Awesome be patches. Those on the Listen, geese soon. Yeah. Uh, Gave them out to everybody. Uh, we're going to give them to our podcast patrons. Mm-hmm. Uh, so CJ, CJ Carroll, Chuck Reddor, uh, James Fisher are all going to be getting a care package from me in the next uh, few weeks. Awesome. I'm going to put together maybe a couple of other things, so just be patient. I'll have them out to you. But uh, we're going to get you some patches, some decals, and, and let's see what else we can do. Uh, but uh, next episode, our next full-length episode, even though this one went, I think, 40 minutes. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I think we're at 40 minutes. Um uh, our next episode, we're also going to be introducing everybody to a new sponsor. I'm really excited uh, to have awesome. them. Awesome. Show's growing. Uh, good things. Yeah. it's uh, it's uh, Let's just say uh, it's going to help with some pain management. It's not a CBD. We, we've already got Fight Back. Okay. But uh, but uh, it's, a, it's a really cool new company. Uh, they're excited to be working with us as, a, you know, a, a kind of one of the... Uh, you know the best new podcast and um you know it's gonna be cool so we'll have some uh, some more announcements nice, we'll probably nice. start uh, posting on social media even before we start recording on the episode so uh, i'm excited to, to do that so uh we miss anybody no but hey oh, i want to give out a little let, let oh. me give out let me give out <laughs> one little i guess uh, nugget of info right you may i would say that wherever you go right jiu-jitsu is an amazing community F- speak to your coach tell them you're going somewhere else Another state, another country, there's going to be a jiu-jitsu gym there, right? And train. So that's going to open up a world of new things for you, whether it's, you know, I've had the opportunity to go to Mexico and train in Mexico. I had the opportunity to go to Colombia, and I'm going to sh- shout out the guys down there from Heroicos, Heroicos BJJ in Cartagena. Thank you guys for having me a few months back when I was there. It's just as easy as making a phone call, saying, hey, I'm here, can I train with you guys? Even if you have to drop, even if you have to drop a mat fee, but what's that mat fee going to be? Ten bucks for the opportunity to train with a new group of people. Yeah. Right? Come in with yeah. a great attitude. Yeah. Leave your ego at the door and learn something new. So that's Very my cool. nugget of information. So big shout out to them. I am not going to butcher that name. You know my Spanish is horrible. But uh, thank you again, everybody. Thank you to our sponsors. Another another one in the can. That's it. Thank you guys. I was. Go train. train. Wash your gi. Don't worry about your belt. Wash your belt. (laughs) Gotta wash your belt. Don't worry about the belt. Thank you, brother. (laughs) Awesome, man.